And 7 News always investigating and getting results. We started asking questions after concerned neighbors called to ask why nothing was being done about this 100-foot-tall tree uprooted and leaning precariously toward Roslyn Street in Denver. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez tracking this down. And Lance, after you started looking into this, the city took action. And it was a 110-foot-tall blue spruce tree, basically a twin to that one there. Now, neighbors say it was felled during a windstorm last November and hit that catalpa nearby. They started moving their cars further down the street because they were worried that both trees would come crashing to the ground. On December 14th, I actually called 311. Isaac Schloss is one of several neighbors who say they call the city about the big spruce. After I talked with her, she then transferred me over to the police non-emergency number where I stated what was going on, which they then transferred me over to the fire department non-emergency. Do you feel you were getting the runaround? Of course. Schloss says neighbors were told the city would take care of the tree in 45 days and that it didn't pose a danger. So we took our questions to City Council President Mary Beth Sussman. Your thoughts as a city councilwoman about that? You know, you've shown me the pictures. Sussman said that's the first she'd heard about it. I can see why neighbors would think that that tree is a danger. Um, uh, so we're going to look into it right away. Within the hour, chainsaws were ripping through the fallen tree. A Parks and Rec spokeswoman told 7 News a city forester checked the tree this morning and determined that it had shifted and posed more of a danger. ACME Tree Service made quick work of the fallen spruce. A crew member said they're seeing more trees uprooted because of the dry ground and continuing drought. Now, typically, if the city can't get a homeowner to take care of a front yard or the trees, it will hire the work done and charge the homeowner. In this case, the homeowner is an elderly woman who we're told is now in long-term assisted care, the property being managed by a company in New Jersey. They did not return our phone call. Live in Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.